channel. Today I'm going to be doing a frontal wig unit install tutorial. If you're new here, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share to my channel. And we're going to go ahead and get started by make sure you have your new cap on and you're going to apply your adhesive thin layers. I'm using a makeup brush to apply the adhesive. Um, I'm using the Boho Extreme Lace Glue. I really love Boho products, so that's what I'm using. And then after you get done applying your glue, you're going to go ahead and put your powder foundation. I'm using LA Girls Pro and a, just a simple makeup powder brush. I do cut the lace in four sections before I put it on my head. And I think right here, I'm gonna add some more glue. Guys, please make sure that you show my channel some love. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Help my page grow. Thank you. So I'm just smoothly going to slide that unit on. And I'm gonna place it over the glue around my edges. And I'm just gonna take the comb and massage the lace into the glue on each side. Now the reason I do put, the reason why I put these four slits into my lace, it cut, because it helps with the rippling. Sometimes the lace will bunch up, so that helps a lot. And it also when you're cutting the lace as well, it'll help you basically shape the lace how you would want it to shape, be shaped. So that's the reason why I do it. It's very beneficial. Make sure you blow dry that glue. Make sure it's fully dry. I'm using a Conair blow dryer. Almost every hairstylist have one because it gets super hot. After you're done blow drying it, you're gonna put your melt band around your edges. And then after that, you're gonna go ahead and section your hair off in the back so you can sew it down. I leave my melt band around my edges while I'm sewing the back down and then eventually I'll take it off after I'm done sewing it down. Now I'm taking the milk band off here and I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the lace around my ear. Be very careful if you are a beginner. The color that I'm using today that I, well, that I colored my hair with is Raisin Red by Adore. I watercolored this unit. It came out so pretty. So you're just gonna do the ears first. Make sure you cut around the ears first. Then you're gonna brush those edges back because you don't want any extra hairs in the way. You're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And we're gonna to begin to cut around the hairline here. And you just cut section by section. Sometimes I like to flip the lace up just to see where the glue ends and cut it there. Normally when you do that, it, it basically you don't have to, um, you don't have to cut extra lace off once you cut the whole lace off around the edges whenever you lift up the lace to see where the glue ends. I hope that makes sense. 
<laughs> and we're gonna just keep cutting around the other side. Lift the lace up if you have to. Right here, I'm gonna take my scissors, the scissors and cut some of that extra lace off. In any areas that you see where there's extra lace that you don't want, just cut it off. And I'm gonna comb that extra hair off that I had cut. Here I'm going to take the hair glue and I'm just pulling those edges back and putting the glue underneath where the lace is still lifting. Normally I add about three, no, two, sometimes three layers. It just depends. Here I'm probably just going to add two. Like I stated before, just pull the hairline back and whatever lace that did not glue down, it will lift up and you just apply the glue underneath. You're gonna blow dry it, make sure that's clear. And then you're gonna take your comb, the rat tail part of your comb, and just lay those pieces that were standing up, lay them down. And then you're gonna add your lace band back on again your blow dryer on make sure you turn it on hot and just blow around your edges blow dry your edges you're gonna remove your milk band Calm your edges back. Make sure you don't have any hairs in the way. Had a little piece right here that was cut into my ear. And then you're gonna part your hair down the middle if you choose to do so. I normally line up the rat tail comb with my nose bone in the middle and then just go directly up. Then I'm spraying my Design Essentials Finishing Spray. And I'm gonna go in with my hot comb to flatten the top, just to make sure everything is sleek and flat. Now guys, I did, this is my loose deep wave raw Cambodian hair. Normally I would straighten this hair and then curl it because, of, cause, because it's more textured, but I didn't do that today. I just blow dried it after I colored it and just curled it. So if it looks a little more texture on the texture side, that's why I do recommend whenever you are curling or, or straightening, well, curling deep wave hair, make sure you straighten it first and then curl it. going to add layers here it's gonna recurl the front part before I go in and do my baby hair I know I probably did this backwards 
On my clients, I normally do their baby hair first and then I'll go in and layer the front and recurl it, but I just did it backwards this time. And I'm gonna go in and layer the other side. If you are new here, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share to my page. Share to your friends. Leave in the comments below any tutorials that you guys would like for me to do. Or if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments for me. But make sure you subscribe to my page. Help my page grow, guys. Thank you. Sometimes I just, whenever I'm curling my hair, it's like one side does perfect and then the other side, it just doesn't want to, does not want to do right. But you'll see me here going over this front part more than one time because I just wanted to fall a certain way. Then I add my Kenra Level 8 hairspray. This is the key to getting that perfect little swoosh in the front of your hair. You're doing that thing. Also, these um, no crease clips. Every girl, every hairstylist should have these in their collection. Works super great. I think I'm gonna go in and add some more layers on this side. Try to make it even out with the other side. See how that other side, just, the left side, just perfect. This side, the right side, it's just gonna give me problems. But it's okay, it's gonna come out pretty. Now I'm gonna go in and do my baby hair. I am doing soft baby hairs today. I do cut about, mm, I leave about two inches of hair out when I'm cutting. And I'm gonna go in with my Nairobi mousse. I love this mousse. It doesn't contain any alcohol. Do you know alcohol will make your lace lift? So that's all I use whenever I'm laying my edges is the Nairobi mousse. Now, when you are laying your edges, you want to go in a C-shape motion. Whenever you are slipping your edges down, it's like a backwards C shape. And kind of just use your other finger to guide the hair. As you see. I'm gonna do the same thing with my sideburns. When you are doing your baby hair with the foam, you do wanna try to quickly flick your hair down with the foam. Cause if it stays wet too long, it will start to lift oh, just a little bit.
Just using my fingers to guide that baby hair along with my comb. Ladies, I do sell hair. So if you hit me up on my Instagram page, which will be listed in the bio below and at the end of this video, it was also at the beginning as well. If you guys want a custom unit made, you can also hit me up and put in your order and I can take care of that for you. Again, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to my page, help my page grow. And thanks again. So I'm gonna go in with my edge wrap. And I'm gonna sit under the dryer for 10 minutes. All right, my baby hair is dry. I'm gonna take the comb and just comb those baby hairs out. And then I'm gonna go in with my razor just to trim it a little bit. You don't ever wanna leave the baby hairs real long. I'm only trimming a little bit off because I didn't, I didn't make the hair too long. And you're just going to comb the hair in a shape motion. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. If there's any styles that you would like for me to do next or in the future, leave it in the comments below. I'm going in with my powder foundation by LA Girls, it's Soft Honey, just to blend the lace. Give it a more blended look. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my part. I'm using LA Girls. I can't remember the color concealer I'm using. I believe it's Soft Honey. And voila, this is the final result, ladies. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions or concerns, just go ahead and drop it in the comments. All the products and everything that I use today will be listed in the description box below. And again, thank you for watching my channel. Bye.